Shalom Makyam. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam, spread his truth in sincerity. Shalom. In this video, I want to talk about the cutting down of trees, man. And it might be a strange topic that I'm going to talk about. But we understand that Esau, also known as the so-called white man upon this earth, or known as the devil, you know, in the in the physical form upon this earth, we know that they are chopping down trees, you know, by the by the soccer fields, man. And you know, the scriptures talk about how we ought. You know, to uh, to look at the trees and how we are supposed to, you know, deal with them in a certain way, man. Because if we go to Deuteronomy chapter 20, starting in verse 19, it says, When thou shalt besiege a city a long time, in making war against it to take it, thou shalt not destroy the trees, trees thereof by forcing an axe against them. For thou mayest eat of them, and thou shalt not cut them down, for the tree of the field is a man's life. To employ them in the siege. Only the trees which thou knowest that they be not trees for meat, thou shalt destroy and cut them down, and thou shalt build bulwarks against the city that maketh war with thee until it be subdued. So, reading the scriptures in Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 19 and verse 20, it talks about when, you know, back in the days, we would fight against a certain city, which that would be allocated near a, a, a forest. You know, we was allowed to cut down certain trees that would not be used either by uh, by animals as a habitation or um, that contained bees, beehives and things like that, or that would be used for medicine or other nutritious purposes. Only the trees of which we would know, like, hey, these are you're not, not going to be used by, you know, the animals and things like that. You know, we, we was allowed to take those and use them for our benefits in the war, in the besieging of the city, man, to make a defense, a bulwark, man. And if we look at, you know, Esau, Edom, his way of, you know, dealing with the trees, we see that he is contrary to this, man. Because if we, if we look at a situation in, for instance, the Amazon, you know, and other places upon the earth, you know, where they're chopping down trees like crazy, you know, we see that they're, they're destroying the habitations of animals, cutting down trees that, you know, might have medicinal purposes or that contain certain uh, uh, foods like uh, bananas or apples or, or, or whatever, man. And those trees back in the days also served a purpose for us, man. That we will be able to feed off, you know, uh, the land, man. You see? And Isa is completely annihilating, you know, whole fields of trees, man. That might serve a purpose, you know, for the chimps, you know, for the birds, you know, for other reptiles or other uh, animals, man, that might contain the beehives or that are uh, in inhabited by other animals, you know, that might be uh, a part of the, the, the cycle of that forest, man. So we see and understand that Esau is completely against the ways of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. But we, we, you know, we understand that Esau was made in this fashion, man. This is Psalms chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked the Most High saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, castest my words behind thee. So Esau claims, you know, to be good Christians, you know, to have a... Uh, you know, a certain level of morality and, and, and values. But if we look at the the way 
in which Esau is behaving himself upon the earth while he has rulership, we see that he is contrary to the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, not only at, at, if we look at nature, man, you know, but also in his own mannerism, how, de how he deals with people and the laws, man. You know? Because what he does, man, he, 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 hey, the more and more you're, you're invested, <clears throat> you know, your time in the research of the scriptures and, you know, uh, finding out about, you know, Esau and the things that he does upon this earth, more and more you're going to realize, like, hey, this man, he just transgresses all the laws of Yahweh Shem Shai, man. There's not one law. You know, that he keeps, man. Not one, man. That's crazy, man. You know, and if we, you know, go to Job, for instance, uh, chapter 12. Um, let me see where it is. Job, chapter 12, verse 4. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall uh, tell thee. Or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee. And the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee, man. So if we look at nature and the way, you know, that nature has, you know, shaped itself, you know, during the rulership of Esau, we can see that nature is suffering, man. Nature is really suffering under the rulership of Esau, man. You know, there was this, um, this gorilla video that you can look up for yourself. And in that video, you know, that gorilla is, is, is talking in sign language like, hey, nature is crying, man. You know, we're suffering. You know, the, the people have to wake up, you know, concerning this. But ain't nothing's going to change, man. Nothing's going to change as long as Esau is in rulership, man. You know, the only, the only thing that they're made for is to, is to you know, establish wickedness and, 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 and to forward that wickedness upon this earth, man. Making society in this world more wicked by the day. You see? You know, you might say like, hey, back in the days, we would used to, you know, uh, cut the trees down and use them, you know, to build houses. Yeah, man. But we did not do it in a, in, in, in a sense to destroy whole fields and to destroy the habitation of animals, man. That would, you know, live there. That would also be beneficial, you know, to our, you know, living conditions, man. Esau's taking down, you know, uh, 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 fields, you know, with flowers, you know, uh, uh, trees where the uh, the bees might reside in, you know, killing off the bees too, man. You know, we need the bees, you know, to pollinate a lot of plants and to pollinate, you know, fruits and veggies and things like that that need to be pollinated, man. Esau's destroyer of the earth, man. He needs to be destroyed himself. And it's only a good thing <clears throat> that Esau is the one, you know, that's being referred to as the son of perdition, man, in the book of uh, 2 Thessalonians. <clears throat> this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come Except they come a falling away first, and a man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So one of the things that would happen before the second coming of Yahweh Shai is that the son of perdition, you know, will be revealed, man, the man of sin. And what is sin? Sin is, sin is the transgression of the law. Whose law? The laws of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. And the son of perdition is referring to Esau. He he will be revealed, you know, before the second coming of Yahweh Shai. And perdition goes into destruction. Not only is Esau destroying this earth, he is also the one that is going to be destroyed for everything that he has done upon this earth. This is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18. And it says, And the nations were angry, and their wrath is come. And the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints and them that fear thy name, 
small and great, and she just destroyed them, which destroyed the earth. And that's referring to Esau, man. Esau is the one that's going to be destroyed because of destroying the earth, man. And by destroying the earth, he's also, you know, uh, uh, afflicting and affecting those people that live upon the earth. Man, he's even destroying his own people, man. He's not even caring about his own people. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 20. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. You see? So, once the thousand years of slavery are passed, you know, once Yahweh Shai comes back, you know, the, the thousand years of slavery is going to, you know, be insta instated. You know, meaning that all the other nations going to be subject unto us, including Esau, Edom, who's going to suffer the most of all the heathens. But after those thousand years, they're not going to get their land back, man. They're going to be completely wiped out. You know, for all the things that they have done upon this earth, man. But one of the things that they have done is destroying the land where they set foot, man. And they're slaying their own freaking people, man. They're slaying their own nation, man. Amalek is destroying their own people, man. Esau is destroying their own people. You see? Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. You know, and there might be people that be like, hey, you know, you know, I never did that those things that my forefathers did. You know, for instance, talking about slavery. Man, it was your asses back then in the reincarnation doing those things towards our people, man. So you're going to reap the reward for what you did in your past lives. You see? But they need to be destroyed, man, these people. You know, and if we go to Isaiah, you know, chapter... Uh, 14 <clears throat> As verse 7 The whole earth is at rest and is quiet They bring forth into singing So Everything And everyone upon this earth Shall be at peace once Esau is Taken out of rulership man You know Everything is going to rejoice In those days Verse 8, Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fellers come up against us, and a feller is a lumberjack, one who cuts down trees. You know? And you can you look at this in, 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 in two ways. You can look at this, you know, as literal trees, but we also understand through the scriptures that a man can be, you know, referred to as a tree. So both nature and the people are going to be happy, man, once Esau is going to be taken out of rulership. You see? That's what we're waiting for, man. You know? These people, what they, you know, do upon this earth is is is, is nonsense, man. It's, it's, it's real wicked wickedness, man. It says, um, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 5, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant. And, you know, this is first and foremost referring to our people, the Israelites, you know, who were supposed to keep the laws, the commandments of Yahweh, Shem Yahushai, you know, and by which we was able to rule and govern the earth in righteousness and make sure that they will be, you know, in, in, in the right order but in this day and age it is applicable you know to Esau Edom man. he's doing the same thing he's not keeping the last of commandments you know of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai by which the earth you know would you know become prosperous and will become uh, fertile man why because they you know broke all the last of commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai man verse 6 therefore at the curse that fell the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate therefore the inhabitants the of the earth are burned and few men left you see so this earth is in a very bad predicament right now man because of Esau you see Esau needs to be taken out man you know and 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 you know we 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 are supposed to live in a perpetual balance man with nature too man 
You know, same thing how the scriptures explain that <clears throat> if you find a nest, for instance, of, uh, of chickens, man, you find a wild chicken somewhere, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, giving an example, you know, you just find chicken somewhere that's able to, you know, have a, have a little bit of a, a, a shelter and, you know, they have a nest or however, however you call that, you know, you have the, the, the rooster and then you have the, um, uh, the chicken. You are not supposed, you know, to, you know, kill the, the rooster and the chicken, man. You're only allowed to take the max, man. But Esau, you know, he, he will be the one to, you know, take everything, man. But the reason the Most High says you can only take the take the eggs or the or the little chicks is because the parents, the, 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 the ones that have been matured, they're able to reproduce again, man. Them children don't. You know, it's going to take a long time to do those things, man. Uh, they have to be nurtured, you know, brought, you know, brought up to a certain age, and, you know, and then they're able to, you know, uh, reproduce again, man. You see, that's how we, you know, will learn by the heavenly Father to to live in a very balanced way, you know, upon the earth. You know, but like it says in Isaiah chapter twenty-four, you know, the ordinances were broken, man. The land Sabbath, you know, that the Most I spoke about in the scriptures that we could read about in the book of Leviticus, you know, that is also broken, you know. All the nutrients are taken out of the earth. Esau has to constantly, you know, uh, refill it with with fertilizer, you know, to give give the earth, you know, some sort of strength. I mean, to put the nutrients, you know, in the in, in the foods. I mean, you know, and ain't helping jack shit, man. You know, this earth is only going down, man. Things are getting worse and worse, man. Nowhere that you can go, nowhere that you can, you know, buy, you know, and the food is the fall too, man. You know, these things happen, man. The most I put those things upon upon this earth, man, is a punishment, man. We're serving out our sentence and Yarek is out soon it's gonna be over. But we need to have that salvation, man. And we only, you know, can hope and pray that Yahweh Shem Yahushai takes care of us, you know, in the midst of our enemies while they're poisoning us from all sides, man. While they're destroying the earth. It's crazy, man. But I hope and pray that this video was edifying. And with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone, who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the sincere Akiam, spread his truth in sincerity. Shalom.